There is not a unique trait of Titian. Most artists present in this exhibition stress their artist status and their self-portraits to differing extents. Some of them do themselves with the apparatus of drawing, as in the self-portrait by Mens. Some do themselves immediately in the process of creation. For example, Madame Lebrun portrayed herself as creating a portrait of the Queen of France. As we move on in the exhibition, we continue seeing artists who will highlight their status. However, they would also provide the viewer an insight into their personality, ideals, and background. In this self-portrait by Sasso Ferrato, the artist used a pure and sacred background of pure light blue, which at that time was extremely expensive. The material for the pigment is lapis, an oil which at the time was more expensive than an equal weight of gold. The artist used purity and nobleness to show the pureness of his heart. He drew himself as a play-looking figure with frowning eyebrows locked in deep thought, without any disturbance from extra decorations. The color tones are simplistic, including only the elegant sky blue, brown, white, and peach red. It is intriguing how self-portraits so simplistic can represent a sophisticated personality. The clean visual effect shows his idealized self, linking to the devotional and deified Catholic figures he drew in his other paintings. After the self-portrait of classical artists, styles shifted. However, the overall idea of signifying character traits and identity remained. In addition, self-portrait would refer to the artistic propositions of the artist. In this self-portrait of Cerise Sherwars, she expressed herself standing, looking into the distance carrying the tools for painting. Putting aside the implications of her gestures on her personality, simply the fact that she is standing while drawing is significant. It means that the artist prefers not to draw in a studio but outside. Engaging in this type of artistic creation is a common trait of impressionistic artists. And advancing into the modern era, you can start to feel how the self-portraits of the artist are increasingly less of a photo and more and more like a profile picture that usually includes some signature elements of the artist. For example, in the self-portrait of Giorgio Morandi, the subject colors in predominant light amidst the same atmosphere as his still life works. When presented with the self-portrait, the viewer should instantly be able to connect to Morandi's other works. Another instance is Tai Guoqiang. As we can see, his self-portrait was not composed of paint but instead of gunpowder. It is his personal style to use this material for artworks. His face is at the bottom right corner looking at the upright corner where we can see a small firework rocket. It serves as his paintbrush. The next artist, Yayoi Kusama, shifted away from being realistic and focused on presenting her style. She showed herself using the signature dot pattern that she enjoyed. Kathy LaRocca, another contemporary artist, created a unique self-portrait. It has completely abandoned the previous objective which was to depict the artist. The piece presents her state of mind, which was being corrupted by cancer at the moment of creation. From the self-portrait of modern artists, it could be identified that self-portraits had became profile pictures. As we move on, we shall expect self-portraits to be increasingly creative as they offered us an insight to the artist's inner world.